Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add the contact form to Canva websites in 2024. So today I'll show you how to integrate a contact form, of course, seamlessly into your Canva website. So make sure to follow this step-by-step -step guide to add your form to your Canva websites right away. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open a browser from here i'm using brave for you you can use it whatever you want just go to the cr section basically just type canva.com hit the enter button and this should take you to their website right away if it's your first time basically you'll be taken to this page instead so click on login to log in into your account if you have an account as you can see you can log in with the multiple options and for sign up you can basically sign up with those same options so you can use one of those accounts if you have one of them so you can go and log in into your account or create your account without filling up your information which is going to be boring and annoying of course you, there are some plans if you want to get a plan so it's actually up to you i'll just show you here the prices example so start your free trial of course you can start a free trial uh, for free for 30, uh, like 30 days and as you can see this is the canva pro this is per year as an example for one person so it's actually cheap with all the features that they'll give you so once you logged in into your account you'll find yourself here and basically the first thing that you will need to do is simply create a website in canva if you didn't have it yet so all you need to do go to create design at the top right corner click on that and here basically just type website and as you can see you'll find the websites here click on it and you'll find yourself on this place here make sure to start creating your website and designing it however you want or you can use one of the template that they have make sure you use just the free ones example a lot of free ones in here the, the pro ones you will not be working unless you upgrade the plan if you have a plan you'll be able to use them for free no cooperated or anything like that so just use them however you want and for me i'm not going to do that i'm just going to use like a website that i already have so you just go and move that to trash example i'm just going to use that uh, a design uh, that i already have an example like a website here as you can see it's already like published as you can see you can preview it and see however it looks of course i can preview it on desktop and mobile and see everything uh, if it's working if it's working correctly as you can see i have here, here a navigation menu if you want to know how to add this and your canva website i've already uh, like made a video about it and how to add this and even edit it in the same video so as we said here as you can see the navigation menu will look like this and the phone will look like this so make sure to see it however you want for me i'll just go here and click on the design from you as an example or as i said before make sure to design your websites however you want change text change elements design placeholders anything that you want and now of course within your canva website templates you can create a new section or a new page uh, where you want of course your contacts form to appear you can use canva elements like text shapes to design uh, the placeholder for your contacts form and this could be a simple box like in contacts us header or and some of course placeholder text then you can generate a contact form using form builder you will need of course to use an external form uh, builder like google forms uh, jot forms or type form to create your uh, contact form as an example if we go and open new tab and ty type contact uh, or sorry so we'll type here google like forms and hit the enter button example so you can simply just go and try forms and click on get started as an example and create your account of course here you'll need to create a google workspace without you will not be able to create a form keep that in mind of course this is if you want to try it for work if you want to just go to forms right away here you can start creating your form right away of course you can use one of the template that they have like example contacts information form maybe as an example this is already good for you you don't want to create your own so it's actually good so it has an example uh, description if you want to add any uh, name uh, email address phone number comments if you didn't like any of them as an example maybe you didn't like uh, i don't know uh, the phone number one you can simply just go and delete it it's actually up to you then simply you can simply just go here and click on send and you'll be able to send it to people you can send it via multiple people you have here even the links for it basically for us what we want of course once you finish your form and customize the form appearance to match your canva website once your contact form is ready you'll need to get an embed code from the form builder this usually will be found in the sharing option and as you can see it's going to be this one so we need this embed html so make sure to go and copy this html embed code provided by the form builder either you use of course uh, google uh, forms 
or you use whatever of the options that I told you about, which is dot form, type for form, all of them will give you this input code. So make sure to copy that code and simply go back to your Canva website. And let's say this is the page where we'll put our contact form. So to add this in here, we'll need to simply, so we'll need to go to share button at the top right corner and make sure to select a website from here. And from here, of course, you'll be able to choose like all the things that you need. And basically, of course, here, once you go and click on publish example websites, it will be published to see it. So example, I'll just go here and click on republish. Uh, because example to here you'll, uh, once you publish you'll be able to see everything so if you go here and click on view websites you might not see of course uh, like your things because since canva does not natively support HTML embeds you will need to basically to use an iframe to add your context form so in your web browser of course you can click on the area where you want the context form to appear and select like inspects so example and here once you do so of course or view page source of course you might find like view page instead of this inspects uh, so depending on your browser this will basically open the developer tools in here and uh, you'll have to locate this, this section of your website where you want to insert the form and add a frame tag an i frame tag of course with your form and bit code uh, it's going to be basically like this so as example i'll show you uh, how to add it so how to select this first of all just click on this button right here click on where you want to add it so this example is going to be here it seems in here so here as we said we will need to add an iframe tag with the form embed code like this so example i'll just go here and click on the plus uh or sorry i'll just go down and yeah here is example i'll just go and try to paste my code right here so where is like it is HTML, of course. And is that the area? Yeah, so this is the area as example. And here, basically, we'll need to add, as an example, the the thing that I told you about. So I'll just go here and click in here. I'll just go here and do this, add this. So iframe source, your form URL, style, width, of course, and height. You can simply choose that and border and everything. Uh, of course, like for this uh, width and height, you'll be able to change it from here depending on whatever you put in here for example since i put this uh, on those you will have to put them the same but of course it will look a little bit uh, off or different if you didn't do that but it's fine and of course basically once you add that you'll need to add your form url in here so basically just go and add the html code in, in there so i'll just go here and copy it for me it did not so yeah i'll just copy it right now go here and simply add this and yeah it should be good to go so all i need to do now is simply just leave that as it is and it should be added right now but of course if you have any issues like this one uh, like any issues in here uh, comments or something make sure to solve them because it will not work if you didn't use to so if you still like having these problems, you don't know how to solve them, of course, you can always go to chat GBT and just copy the code, of course, that they'll tell you as an example. And you can simply, they'll solve it for you and they'll tell you what to do and you should be good to go. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.